Hey folks, I'm back with another like budget type uh, build video and I want to bring a specific gun to your attention and we're going to build a loadout around that and that gun is the BM-59 and don't start laughing, okay? It's, it's, it's actually a good gun. Like, I almost think that it's as good as the M110. You can judge me for that, okay? But let's let's phrase it differently. The BM59 for its price, it's it's better than the M110 for like 50, 60 or 70,000. I mean, it uses the same ammunition. The recoil is good. It's ugly, I know, but still it does the job. It's it's very efficient. So I've been playing a couple of games with the BM-59 and the outcome of the games is that every kill I did, I would have done those kills with the M110 as well, but there was nothing in these games happening where the M110 would have saved my ass, okay? So regardless of the weapon choice, the outcome of the games would have been the same. So why am I recommending the BM-59 or why was I actually like discovering it? It's the new scope. Of course, it's the new scope, the new scope, which you can buy for 600 uh, faction currency. Basically, the scope comes for free and the scope is a good one. I think it's a 3.5 scope, but don't uh, let me just quickly check it because I have it open. BM side now it's a 3x scope so it's not 3.5 it's a 4x scope so it's not like a marksman rifle you you cannot like uh you know kill keep kill people from 200 meters away actually you can because the, the gun is accurate and uh the price of the gun it's approximately 10,000 maybe if you have a bad day it can go up to 12,000 or something, or 14,000, oh my god, that's scary, but it's close to 10,000. Compared to that, the M110 is like 50,000, at least, because an M110 below 50,000, it's just, you know, trash. The other alternative would be the M14, but even that, it's more, more expensive. In the past, I've been playing M14 over the M110, but nowadays, there's not a big difference between the two guns in terms of cost. So if I had to choose, I would go with the M110, especially because I have the flame skin and I also have the new, um, you know, what is it? Trial skin, that um, black gold skin. For a couple of days and we're also gonna get an m110 skin from the battle pass if you have that the advanced one so nowadays i'm kind of sticking with the m110 but this bm59 mm, is almost as good firepower good recoil very good with the scope you can actually shoot pretty fast with this gun so in terms of efficiency i don't see a big difference between m110 and bm59 i think i already over explained it but let's talk about the loadout so when you hop into lockdown i would recommend you not using a helmet at all it's just you know waste of money because with this gun you either do the kill and pick up the enemy's armor or you you know you die you are not going to be able to do like um those type of gunfights where you are doing face to face against an h4 or something but if you can catch them off guard from the side or basically play in a more sniper ish game style then this is something for you Again, the scope is brilliant. It's like a big, it's having a big sight. It's not like covering too much the scope itself. So therefore, therefore, I think it's a really good one. I, I truly feel that this is a good gun. I'm not promoting it because I have been told to do so or something. I truly feel that this is a good gun. So no, no armor or eventually you could go with the T3 uh, armor, a T3 helmet, which I again don't remember, but it, you know, the one which has the built-in um, 
headphones, the SH-12. I used that a lot in season four when I was playing TV station, but uh, <laughs> I just had a chat with Ruga yesterday or the day before and, and Fearson. The reason why I don't use it is because it's so ugly. To me, it somewhat matters how my character looks like. And even though I don't see the helmet in the game, it makes me feel like a Timmy and I, you know, it, it, it destroys my ego, so I, I'm not playing it anymore. Uh, I would rather recommend you not using a, um, a helmet and pick up an M32 headset, eventually a GS2 headset. I still don't really like that headset because it's just too much for me sometimes. I would rather pick the Commander, for example, but this, is, this video is not about, you know, uh, debating on which is the best headset or headphone headset. Um, so I leave that up to you. And in terms of armor, I've been doing a couple of games running with T3 armor because I was following my theory that if I'm the one doing the kill, then most likely the enemy guy is going to have better armor than I do. Um, and if I cannot shoot him and he's going to start attacking me, I'm going to die anyways. So I was running T3. You could be doing T3 to keep your loadout, you know, very low. But if you don't feel safe in the T3, then go with T4 armor. Some very like simple rig, like the wrap simple, for example. Uh, this was a coincidence, by the way. It's a simple wrap, simple rig. You get it. Anyways, any any rig um, that you that you don't mind losing in case you lose it and maybe an old bag or a camping bag would do the job and then in terms of ammunition what i've been doing is that i had a 20 round mag as the default with m80s and i also put some m80 bullets into my composite case and i had a secondary magazine with 10 ammunition which i filled with m62 not 61, so not the, the most expensive M62. And in case I felt like that I'm gonna you know, face a player, uh, I'm gonna switch to that mag. Sometimes I forgot, but still, you know, if, if, if you know that there's gonna be a player and then if you have time, you can switch to that mag and basically increase your chances to win the fight. So that's the loadout. And with this loadout, you're gonna, risk approximately 40 up to 60,000 at max, okay? But including bullets, um, meds, everything, you don't need to go above 50, 60,000, but you can keep it very low. You can keep it like um, at 30,000 or, you know, like between 30 and 40,000. And for that price, you're gonna have something to fight with. You're going to have something where you can go into lockdown and actually compete in the fights. You don't need to hide. You don't need to play the underdog. You can actually go support your team. Obviously, you cannot rush because you know the, the type of the gun is not designed for rushing. But you can you know support them with pushing and being somewhat in the background. I had some successful games with it. And if I had some successful games, then I'm absolutely sure that you are also going to have some successful games. Um, the ones I'm going to feature today, um, three games. I had a 250 game, a 330 profit game. And in the third one, I was extracting with close to 600,000. So in total, three games, one million with a shitty gun, which is not shitty. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's good proof that you should actually try it, enjoy, shoot, loot, subscribe. And I'm very, very, very thankful for everyone who has already subscribed. I'm going to reach 4,000 subscribers soon. I hope actually that I'm going to reach 4,000 before I turn 40. And in case you don't know, I'm going to turn 40 this year. So I'm a, an old Shady Fox already. Yeah, uh, no, it's not true. I I don't feel old at all. And even in like 10 years time, I, I don't think I'm going to feel like being old. Anyways, time to shut up for Shady. Enjoy the video, subscribe, and see you around, guys. Bye.